In the 1990s, there was nobody more famous than Michael Jordan. The guy was eye candy for the ladies, an inspiration for the kids, and a moral compass for all of us. Throughout the history of the NBA, however, not all players have been as squeaky clean as our beloved MJ. In fact, some have been decidedly dirty. We're going to be looking at a number of such players in this video, from a Portland Trailblazer with a penchant for unregistered weapons to a Ponzi scheme superstar. Stay tuned until number one for a one-time NBA upstart currently serving a life sentence. And don't forget to show us support by getting the Awesome Mode On merch at the link that just popped up above or the one in the description below so that we can continue giving you more awesome videos. Let's get started. Number 10. Sebastian Telfair in 2006, former Portland Trailblazer Sebastian Telfair was the victim of a robbery when his $50,000 chain was stolen from him. For the sake of this video, let's pretend that's a sad story and that the thought of somebody losing their $50,000 piece of jewelry didn't just make you smile. The following year, Telfair was involved in another crime, only this time he was on the wrong side of it. After being caught driving with a suspended license, Telfair was discovered to be in possession of an unregistered weapon. He received three years probation. A full 10 years later, Telfair found himself in a similar situation after being caught with a variety of weapons. A two-week trial resulted in him being found guilty of felonious weapon possession, and he was sentenced to three and a half years behind bars. Number 9. Arthur Long His name is Long, and so is his sentence. His time in the NBA, however, was not. Arthur's long glory days came when he was studying at East High School in Rochester, New York. There, he proved himself to be a force to be reckoned with on the court. He also enjoyed success in college, when he represented the University of Cincinnati. In the NBA, however, Long's career was pretty limited. He was bounced between a number of teams, including the Seattle Supersonics and the Philadelphia 76ers, but never found his spot among the greats of basketball. He left the NBA in 2003, and his name disappeared from the headlines. That was, of course, until his arrest on drug and weapon charges in 2013. Shortly after his arrest, Long was unmasked as one of the most prolific distributors of illicit substances in all of Rochester. He was sentenced to almost seven years in jail in 2015. Number 8. Billy Ray Bates Billy Ray Bates enjoyed a brief stint in the NBA back in the early 80s, playing for teams like the Portland Trailblazers and the LA Lakers. He established himself as a crowd pleaser, often focusing more on impressive trick shots than racking up points. This, combined with his hard partying ways, resulted in him being dismissed from several teams and eventually leaving the league entirely. Bates went on to play in the Philippine Basketball Association and actually carved out a pretty nice career for himself. To this day, he's considered one of the PBA's all-time greatest players. By the late 90s, however, Bates' career as a professional athlete was over and he was forced to turn to manual labor to support himself. He also made the not-so-wise decision to supplement his income with the occasional robbery. In January of 1998, he was arrested after committing an armed robbery in a New Jersey gas station. He was later found guilty of the crime and sentenced to eight years in the big house. And now it's time for the quiz. After his first retirement in 1993, NBA legend Michael Jordan tried his hand at which sport? Is the answer A, professional wrestling, B, baseball, C, football, or D, hockey? Think you know the answer? Write it right now in the comments section below and keep watching until the end of the video to find out if you were correct as we reveal the answer. Number 7. Tate George Tate George achieved his greatest fame playing for the New Jersey Nets, who drafted him as a 22nd pick in the 1990 NBA draft. Actually, scratch that. Tate George achieved his greatest fame for defrauding a bunch of people in an attempt to make some quick cash. You see, after his career with the NBA came to an end, he founded something he called the George Group, ostensibly a real estate development firm. The George Group was, in fact, a front for the former NBA player's Ponzi scheme. George was eventually unmasked as a financial predator and was found guilty on four counts of wire fraud in 2013. Three years later, he was sentenced to nine years behind bars. Upon his release, he'll be required to pay $2.5 in damages and will remain on probation. Number 6. Jay Vincent Unlike Tate George, Jay Vincent had quite a successful career in the NBA. By the time he retired in 1990, he boasted 8,729 career points. To put that into perspective, you probably have none. Unfortunately for Jay Vincent, he wasn't any more successful than Tate George when it came to defrauding people out of their hard-earned money. In the summer of 2010, it was discovered that Vincent had scammed more than 2,000 people out of a total of $2 million through a company he managed. In 2011, he was sentenced to five and a half years in prison on various mail fraud charges. He was eventually released in March of 2016 and eventually rose to manager of a Michigan burger restaurant. No, Jay, stop asking. I don't want fraud with that. 
Number 5. Daryl Allums Daryl Allums' NBA career was short-lived. The Los Angeles native, who started out so promising, only spent a single season in the league, during which time he played for the Dallas Mavericks. So what was it that cut Allums' NBA playing career so short? He wasn't untalented. He wasn't boring to watch. He wasn't disrespectful to his coach or teammates. The only fault he had was the fact that he liked to rob the occasional Domino's delivery man. And when I say occasionally, I mean very regularly. In 1989, Allums was sentenced to nine years in prison for robbing 14 Domino's delivery men. The disgraced player claimed he committed the crimes to feed his illicit substance addiction, but he never once switched pizza parlors. So what was he really addicted to? Number 4. William Bedford William Bedford is considered by many to be one of the most wasted talents in the history of the NBA. When he first burst onto the professional scene in 1986, he displayed a combination of height and ability that seemed set to make him a star attraction for the Phoenix Suns. However, his addiction to various illicit substances meant this would never happen, and he wound up leaving the NBA after six seasons. Bedford was arrested multiple times for drug possession in the 90s. Similar arrests followed him into the new millennium and eventually led to him being sentenced to 10 years in prison in 2003. After obtaining an early release in 2011, he returned to the world of basketball and began coaching a team in Memphis. Number 3. Javaris Crittington in just four years of professional play, Javaris Crittington was signed to a whole lot of teams. When this happens, it tends to mean a player is either really fantastic or really terrible. In the case of Crittington, it was certainly the latter. Now, the guy's actual playing ability wasn't all that bad, but he had some serious discipline issues which only worsened as his career progressed. Things came to a head in August of 2011 when he was charged with taking a life. In 2014, while awaiting trial for this charge, he was arrested for illicit substance trafficking offenses and looked set for a hefty sentence. In an attempt to save himself from life imprisonment, Crittington pleaded guilty to the charges against him and was sentenced to 23 years behind bars. Number 2. Tom Payne Tom Payne stood 7 feet 1 inch, making it perfect for a number of sports. As such, he decided to try his gigantic hand at a number of sports. He found his greatest success in boxing and basketball. The latter of which led him to a season in the NBA. He probably would have become a fixture in the league were he not arrested for multiple instances of forcing himself on women while playing his first season. The charges, dating back several years, landed Payne in prison for five and a half years. Shortly after his release, he was sentenced to another five years for similar crimes committed in a different state. In 1986, not long after being released from prison for the second time, Payne was again arrested and put back behind bars until 2000. Can you guess what happened after he was released in 2000? That's right, he was sentenced to another 15 years in prison. By the time he was released in 2016, Payne had served a total of 40 years behind bars. Number 1. Eddie Johnson Two Eddie Johnsons have performed in the NBA. The first is considered by many to be one of the greatest players of all time and is respected by peers and fans alike. The other, well, let's just say the other is not. During his time in the NBA, Eddie Johnson No. 2 battled serious substance abuse issues and found himself suspended from the league on more than one occasion. He eventually received a lifetime ban from the NBA in 1987. After leaving the NBA, Johnson turns to a life of crime to fund his addictions. In doing so, he racked up an impressive rap sheet of 100 arrests and 5 spells behind bars. Then in 2006, he was arrested and charged with crimes against a minor. You know the kind. In 2008, he was found guilty on these charges and sentenced to life in prison. Parole is not a possibility for Eddie Johnson No. 2, so he'll spend the rest of his life behind bars. Well, Eddie Johnson No. 1 continues to enjoy the rewards of, you know, being a decent human being. And now the time you've been waiting for. Earlier on, we asked you to name the sport Michael Jordan turned to after leaving basketball in 1993. The answer was baseball. Although Jordan's baseball career ultimately didn't pan out, he enjoyed a brief but promising spell with the Chicago White Sox. Hungry for more celebrity knowledge? Click on the playlist to the left to binge watch more athletes and sports stars including NFL and NBA players with the longest prison sentences. See you there, and don't forget to get your awesome, awesome merch on the link right here.